Hi. Hello, and welcome back to Baldur's Gate 3. Let's continue our journey. But first, I would like to mention you something. Uh, Baldur's Gate 3 just had a hotfix number 4 by the time I'm playing this. And I already played almost 2 hours on it. But they had to roll back. Larian had to roll back the game because there were some issues. Which means I have no longer access to that save. So I will replay everything that just had. And I will also speed things up because most of them was me messing around with a new build because I used the higher link. Right? So I will know what's gonna happen for the probably half of this episode. So let's just go talk with Bill and level him up. So Daddy Halcyon, please come closer. You catch a faint odor, one without any discernible source. Wet ash, dried mud, and a hint of sulfur. Mizora channeled the hell's essence into you. You'll never be rid of their scent. I hope. I pray that you'll show more care in the future. It's all right, because I'm a tiefling. Halcyn? All of nature's bounty pales next to you. Wherever you need, I'll be right. Stay here. Let's talk. Join That's me. Defender of the so, people. Will, level 12. Uh, my last choice was obviously Sorcerer level 7 because of level 4 spell slots. And I'm pretty sure that I took Blight because I can uh, twin it. And I didn't change anything else. We are good. Yeah, that's all right. <sighs> yeah, that's cool. One. Hey, better than nothing. All right, Will. Let's talk. Uh, yo, you can actually join us. Yeah. Breathe deep and move so yeah i was messing around with a paladin a half orc paladin i used withers to summon him and the good thing about hydrolinks if you never use them they actually stay in the party if you kick them unlike in those two when they vanish so that's that's nice so th they stay here next to withers that was cool Very oh yeah wallow my friend how do you feel? It is splendid to see you again, my friend. If you hadn't saved me from that mob, I'd be penning a guide to the afterlife based on first-hand experience. Perhaps you would hazard a guess as to why the mob turned on me? Maybe. Let's just sell some shit. You don't have anything special. Well, I assume you. Did you speak out against the cult of the Absolute? They have eyes everywhere. It is not the eyes that I fear. It is the intelligence behind them. The Absolute is merely the outward form of something far more insidious. The Lord of Murder has returned. As he did a hundred years ago, Baal has set his accursed sights on Baldur's Gate. And his temple runs red with the blood of the innocent. Oren is his chosen. And like Saravok before her, she is able to take on the savage form of the Slayer. If the Slayer is not stopped, it will slaughter every living thing in this city. As one of those things, I'm particularly eager to stop it. And there is a way. I have a study of the beast, penned by the wizard Irenicus himself. It contains all the knowledge needed to slay the Slayer. 
Now I just need a brave adventurer, willing to face Baal's chosen, and to put the knowledge into practice. Huh. Imagine killing Orin first, then saving Volo. If it's even possible. <laughs> Wonderful! I can scarcely think of anyone more suitable. It will serve you well. A study of the Slayer penned by John Ereticus. It's one of a kind, so do try to keep it away from the inevitable bloodbath. Hmm? I'll need more than a book to face Boss Chosen. Quite so. I was rather hoping you'd gathered all the rest of the adventuring paraphernalia yourself. You'll need every advantage. What is the Slayer? The Dream Eater. It is said the children of Baal are claimed throughout their sleep, ever disturbed by visions of a life of bloodshed and terror. Once they have seen too much, once these dreams drive their minds to break, they are beset by the Slayer. It is a beast of oh, we can. I'm pretty sure we can do this as a darker. Consumes all in its path. Become the slayer, including the soul of the one who is host to it. Tell me about Irenicus. A genius, exiled from his home in the elven paradise of Soldanesela, when he attempted to seize the power of life itself, he instead turned his magnificent mind to murder on a grand scale. That is how he came to crave the power of the Baal spawn. He saw them not as living things, but as tools for his own machinations. In the end, though Erenicus took the form of the Slayer for himself, it was a Baal spawn who thwarted him, the same that saved Baldur's Gate. Well, I've already slain Miracles Chosen. I can handle this. I am a living witness to Baal's defeat those hundred years ago. So I know your battle against him is not futile. He can be stopped. But not all of those who stood against him survived. And those who did were never the same again. I wish you luck, my friend. And I hope that when I see you again, you'll be in one piece. Two or three at most. Whatever happens next, be sure that I will document it all as accurately as possible. Well, you better be. Alright, so we got the book regarding the Slayer. Uh, there. Now I know what's gonna happen next if we go and take a long rest, but who knows? There might be something else popping up. I wonder if this carry carries over. Let's go. It's the you same see, thing that I saw already. But the wicked don't. Someone is here to disturb your Yeah, rest. I've seen this one. Get the hells away from me! Peace, brother. We're here to take you home. The master needs all seven of us for the ceremony. Come with us and be reborn. We'll live again. How did you find us? Master Kazador has known where Astarian was this entire time. He knew he would return. The right. The master needs him. He must attend. <laughs> Why should we let Kazador have all the fun? 
after all he's done to us. Vengeance will taste sweet paired with ascension. <laughs> you think he's ever kept a promise? He will never let us be free. You will know that. After all these centuries of torment, I know what you all want. More than power. More than to walk in the sun. You want to see him dead. Uh, it does not carry over. And since we are technically sleeping, game mechanics wise, even if I use this, the second dice will not gonna happen. It goes away. Good thing that we are lucky. He is different. Stronger. Fire in his eyes. Maybe he could take Kazador's place. Maybe he could free us. Perhaps we can get back at Kazador and finish the ritual. The Seven can unite and... Oh! The bonds hold. He owns us. We have no choice. We must obey. Get out of here, Astorian. Before. Yep. So we are in a fight against four vampire spawn: Leon, Aurelia, Yosen, and Violet. And there's five of us because Astorian is not in the party, so he shows up. Now, Jahira, if I place you in the oh, middle, yeah. then it's gonna be an easy fight. And we can go all out. Since we are taking a long rest right now. Good start, Starion. Please do not waste my consumables, okay? That's alright. Gone. <laughs> uh, when I was recording this on Hot Hotfix 4, he was using my fireworks. <laughs> this was fun. Well. Something that's good against Empire Spawn. Fire. We can spell. Do it again. the ice they take 20 radiant damage but because of Jahira's weapon because they are sensitive to the sunlight now the shadow heart we don't really have spells to use but we can always go acid Right. All right, let's finish them off. I misclicked. Damn it. Do it, Asterion. What a mess. And again? 
talks to someone else. Well, I hope we can get some rest now. He will be furious. <laughs> and he'll be even more furious when I get to that crypt and stop him. For what it's worth, thank you. No matter what happens down there, you helped me stand up against him. Good thing nothing important happens with those dialogue. But who knows? I picked the same choice, like last time. And, oh yeah, I also had this black stream bug. Which I managed to break by pressing F5, the quick save. And, and that's it. Those vampire spawn came for a starion, didn't they? Lucky for him that we were here to fight them off. What path lies before me? Hello, my dear. Oh yeah, we can continue the sleep. Because it never happened. There we go. Vampire spawn. One's proven enough, let alone a horde of them. Yeah, they're annoying. First in my heart. Not the kind of excitement I usually enjoy being woken up for. Still, better than not waking up at all. This or helmet, up something else this time. hood, also has a glitch. Hopefully, Larian will fix this. It was the same on the Hotfix 4 branch, so... I remember that I <laughs> hide that helmet when I was recording. I dare Kazador to send more lackeys our way. This is our territory. I'll crack anyone who tries to come into my house and hurt my people. Casador is keen to greet his wayward son once more. With open arms. Or iron shackles. Aye. Alright, so now we only have Halcyon. Then we can move out. Vampire spawn assailing us in the night. I thought we had ample troubles as it was. At least Astarian is safe. Oh, hold on. You wish to speak? Are you still content on my side? This doesn't have to be your fight, and it's certainly not your typical habitat. The city, you mean? With all its noise, smoke, stone, and bustle? I would not be here given the choice, but I promised you my support. And that is what you shall have. Still, though, this place crawls with life, but little of it flourishes. I see refugees unhoused, the destitute unwanted, orphans unloved. The city is like a forest with an overgrown canopy. Light and nourishment cannot penetrate to those who need it the most. And still it draws them in. The safety of numbers. The promise of civilization. The dream of better. All that potential is too often destined to die in the dark and rot in the gutter. I wish... I wish there was a better way. I wish everyone could see the sun, have a full belly and know nature as a friend. There is a balance that is yet to be found. <laughs> Listen to me, preaching like an initiate in his cups. Uh, I don't want to say this. It's not some bit of despair. Yeah, it's a fine dream. Yes, I hope so. But we have a battle to win before any of that. All right. It seems like you've no room for me just now. 
And I take up no small amount of space. It's funny. All right, we can head out. So we're gonna use Jahera, Shadowheart, and the Will for the next next batch. And what I was doing last time was actually. me going to this place find the archduke To her final rest in the deep wilds. Please. Sorry. Are you here for Wave Servant Holly's funeral? Oh, it's already started. Out there, just inside. Is that what that singing is for? Yes. Oh, please, you're most welcome. We have much to be thankful for. Okay, this is definitely something that the I wave didn't do because I went the other way. As she did, Holly. But, but we can check it out, right? Please, I can take a little detour. Don't let me keep you from the celebrations. I only know about the first two combat encounter of uh, this place, anyway. Or if you want to be sure you have humble. There's no offerings in here. Wave, wave, mother. Oh, it was just Fox. Sorry, mate. No time to chat. Just here to make an offering, then leave. In and out, yeah? Mm -hmm. Dark Tide is the umbilant holy day celebrating the late summer. I thought it wise to make an offering to the Sea Queen before sailing out tomorrow. Wasn't expecting to find the servants so preoccupied. I see, so I take a long rest, you shouldn't be here, right? Here to make an offering to Umberly as well, eh? They say it's good luck to placate the bitch queen after a drowning. Do all these offerings even do anything? When you sail as much as I have, you'll know damn well they do plenty. Got a few spare coins to chuck in the fountain? Certainly wouldn't do you any harm. Can I loot coins? Offering chest. It looks like it's empty because it's silver. The icon. A brutal goddess, from what I understand. Without even the slightest touch of subtlety to her. Bless. Subtlety isn't exactly your forte, given how you've strolled about wearing a circlet inset with Shah's symbol. You'd be surprised how people can miss what's in plain sight. I miss the fact that Shah... The Wave Mother sees all. Even you. <laughs> I miss the fact that Char was deceiving me. Besides, I have a new look now. Suits me, I think. Yes, it is. It suits you. Too bad it takes a whole act three to reach this look. Do not trigger scene on someone else, please. The celebration is in the main chamber. Praise Umberly! Fireball. On the beast responsible for this injustice, leave its master a bloated carcass in the spume. Can't chat. These offerings need to be stored before the next tide, or there'll be a landra to pay. Hello? Blue tide Alandra Grace. Welcomes another daughter to the deep wilds. Know that we too shall gladly follow when our time has come. Uh -huh. Lovely. Are you alive? Nope. Furious and 
Hello. Hear our prayer. Flood the world with your word. Speak with that right now. Maybe I should. Rejoice, sisters. For Umberly has blessed her humble daughter with a pure death. Her lips blue with her kiss. Her lungs full of her quenching word. Umberly's mercy saved her from a slow, sinking death in the beast's shadow. How dare this beast sully the safety of Grey Harbor? We will find its master and send him struggling into the bitch queen's embrace. Not a sweet sleep like Holly's, but a suffocating flood of fruitless garths and bursting flesh. Lovely. You, supplicant, what tribute do you bring to honor the Wave Mother's fallen daughter? I do I have an extra weapon on me if, if this go gives something away? Hell no. I brought the gold. A fine offering. Always appreciated in the eyes of the Wave Mother. Your tribute is well received. Breathe deep as she permits. Nice course, what are we celebrating? <laughs> Who's the deceased? Holly, one of Umberly's beloved wave servants. Blessed Umberly saw fit to spare an ignoble death. But her passing was not as the wave mother intended. It was a beast who took her life. An unnatural one whose very existence is an affront to Umberly. A wretched metal monstrosity hewn by hubris. A rusting pollutant that bleeds black blood into Umberly's pristine waters. Well, how did Umberly spare her ignoble death? The bee struck Holly while she was swimming in Grey Harbor. She was found by some fishermen. She would have suffered a terrible, agonizing death had Umberly not bestowed upon her the mercy of drowning. All right, well, I'm good at slaying beasts. Maybe I could help you. The Queen of the Depths is generous to those who serve her, and her favor is far less deadly than her wrath. Find the master of this poisonous beast and slay him. Then one of her most precious gifts shall be yours. This precious gift isn't drowning, is it? <laughs> that privilege is not yours to earn. All right. Where can I find the beast master? We haven't found its lair as yet. Perhaps you can find where the beast takes its slumber and skewer it before it wakes. All right. Salt kiss your brow. We await your return and the beast master's demise. Sing, sisters. Sing in Umberly's name. And I can freely loot the corpse. Feel the joy of Umberly lap against your soul. Wave Mother, pour fury Would upon that the everyone knew the Wave Mother's favor. Its master, a bloated carcass in the sky. Don't stand on the corpse. Such a beautiful death. Oh, Umberly, hear us. Umberly, bring your daughter home. As the Wave Mother welcomes another daughter to the deep wilds, know that we too... Hands off the drinks. We have enough to fill Grey Harbor. It's all for the funeral. 
Fish is piss. Look, I loved Holly as much as anyone, but they'd been wailing and praying for hours. My best pot for a bit of quiet. Silence. Hear our prayer. Flood the world with your word. Subsume us utterly. We will have silence. Shadowheart is of our domain. Oh, we can get up. Oh, hi. There's nothing for you up here, Flotsam. Back downstairs you go. I'm not sure about that. There's plenty of chests over here. You'd better have a very good offering in hand if you're being this much of a pain. But it's not this... Res... Stop! These are the... Oh, give us something over there. Breathe quiet, move with care. Always take a sneak peek. I won't take it, I don't want trouble. Lovely. Now, can I? Oh, guys, you guys are annoying. Can you loot it from this side or, or are you gonna walk into that? Okay. Hi. I didn't do nothing. Wasn't me. the umbilant holy day celebrating the arrival of the winter storms how would you look at that the sacrifice of a withered crone I mean, i'm going there you. anyway also this is the fun is this fountain no there's just statue this is the fountain, right? They told me to throw a gold piece over there. That's Tav. That is not a gold piece. That is not a gold piece. This is a gold piece. Um, Wave. Wave, oh, Maybe here? Oh, so then, then here, right? Don't do that. All right. How about doing this? Ooh. Bless. All right. That's permanent until long rest. Oh, it doesn't say, though. For how long? Hmm. <gasps> no! What have you done, game? Put those back. Oh, 
Don't take it. Give the another one. Of the gate. So will this stay if we get out of this place? Doesn't say nothing about the condition. Doesn't say... Alright. We shall see. But for one gold piece you can get blessed. For a, maybe a day. Check this house before. Launch of the Society of Brilliance. I did not. What a scene. Whoever did this had no rhyme or reason, just viciousness. Indeed. Corpse regards you. Dragon exhausted with Dwergar. Who killed you? Subject Githlad Pataris. Huh. Why were you killed? Careless, skipped, precautionary termination. What were you doing? Proving theory. Genetic morality. I was right. Is this something to do with the Gichenki egg that I just stole and gave it to the Society of Brilliance? What happened to you? Experiment gone wrong. Not my fault. Who are you? Where's your killer now? The corpse from Damn it. the spells. Shit. Well, it's time to buff. Can't give up now. Let's just use your aid, the selfish one. And use level 3 aid for the others. Other oh, still overrides. Because this one is 10 HP, that one is uh, 50. Oh, that's alright. Use this on yourself. You don't have to. How come did I use it on Jahira? Sets AC to 13. Your AC is still 10 from the base armor class, so this should go up. It doesn't work anymore. Something overrides the mage armor. There 
There is work to do indeed. No one stopped me yet. Always nice to be wanted. No time to rest. of underdark delicacies, a salve for the homesick, and food for the intellectually curious. See what's going on up here. Blood everywhere, holy shit. Yeah, I didn't check this uh, this part when I was recording the previous episode. I mean, the same episode. I straight up went here. But due to the rollback, I decided, you know, to play this again, instead of waiting for the hotfix. Um, okay, there's, so there's a okay, portal over here. Why did I get a key but I cannot open this chest? What's it what is it for then? Lady Esther. Let's check out this portal then. That one. Who are you? Another who needs to learn the difference between right and wrong. A good Yankee youth. And a familiar one at that. See? Can it be that this is the one who hatched from the egg you took from the crash? It's nice to see you again, Githyanki. I am not a Githyanki! Do not call me that. What do you get? I am Pataris, and I am good. Father was bad. They all were. I tried to make them better, but they were not strong enough. They lacked resolve. You grew up so fast. Was Lady Esther bad too? Oh, that was the person who gave me the quest. She did not have the strength to be good. She was another like father, lacking in moral fiber. Oh, too bad we don't have a laser he over here. He was not but righteous. Maybe it's, maybe it's good. He was not innocent. She wasn't there when I stole the egg His anyway. His thoughts were impure. Such evil can only be cured one way. With pain. With torment. And if that does not work, with death, tell me, are you a good person? I'm good at being bad. Depends on how you define good. There is only one way. The Patarian Code. Do you follow it? I read it. What's the Patarian Code? It is honor. Justice. The true form of goodness we all must live by. 
decreed by Bahamut himself. You are not capable of following its teachings. Yet you have killed many times. It is engraved on your memory. That's not that. You are a hypocrite. I know what you did to me. I see the memory of it. Right there in your head. You stole me from my people. Gave me to that woman. Unhatched. Defenseless. You let me be brought here so father could hurt me. I gave you what my patron gave me, a chance at something more. Oh boy. You were trying to save me. I... I don't understand. Father saved me. I was a nasty, evil thing. But his treatments made me good. I... I'm cured. Good people offer forgiveness to those who sin, not death. You're right. You're right. I... I killed him. I killed all these people. I am no better than any of them. The code is flawed. And I am a monster. As he said I was. I cannot be trusted. What have I done? Well, I guess if we never do the quest, we can meet these people here alive. 1000 XP. Or nothing because max level oh there she is hey we sold that Remember to not do this next time. Maybe there's an option to keep the egg. But that's an option. Not giving it to Esther but still stealing it. Anything of use? Or keeping it in the crash. In the destroyed crash or Or not destroying the crash. Never never take the egg. So many options. Yet I'm still on my very first playthrough. Insane, huh? I'm pretty sure that I can do my other quests, no, uh, other campaigns a little bit faster than this. Anything else to say? All right, time to scope about. What have I done? Better not be cursed. Should mind my step.
There's a hidden stuff here that, might be worth that we can loot. There's a key inside and you can open the chest with it and there's nothing important in that. I remember I was messing around here quite a while when I noticed that I have an arrow of darkness on me. But now... Let's see I'm what's going on here. Book father kept hidden in a drawer. The salty mermaid. Do you know of it, Shadow? Do I get a break? Fabian ran like callous fingers and oh. scales, Oil. leading the right inside. Quivered in response. Flim cargo. All imports and exports duly handled in accordance with the Trades Act as decreed by the Council. Take this entrance over here. Oh wow, I didn't notice that you can also go here. Interesting. Maybe I should explore a little. Because I remember I straight up went here. Oh, but there are patrols. Okay, let's let's leave it like this. Okay, we don't have the key, but it's safer to get in from this side because there will be a combat encounter there. Skeleton, I have one job for you. Stay out of you. I'm lost. Literally, stay out of you. I'll send you there. Avenge the drowned. Did I snap a twig or a toe? On the prowl. I can't afford to fail. You don't need contagion. I would like to use great water. But first. Six. I would like to surprise them. Don't mind me. Ah, for fuck's sake. Watching and waiting. Oh, you have this. As a spell slot? Sure. Take this. Oh, that did something. Ready. Saving us everything. Pickle miss. It's an affection. Um, action surge. Can we eat this? Poking, prodding, drying things out. Boom. <laughs> one day I'll catch a break. That's one way of doing it. A hero at heart. 
let's move. Scratch. How long will this burn, huh? So, okay, what was inside this thing? Oh, nice. <laughs> Seems forever. Search Flames Cargo for the Beast's Master. Find the Star Planes. Looks empty. That might be worth a look. Yeah, we can go down there. Just another crate. What's inside? Oh, of course. Send these to camp. Well, 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 I don't know what to go, what to do, where to go. I mean, I need to go down, but... Revenge the Drowned, Rescue the Grand Duke. Flynn's Cargo. Don't tell me it's there. Open the door. All right. I guess we're going down. Never wanted the easy path. Never wanted the easy path. Avenger drowned. Okay. What about Will's quest? Dorchester Secret Prison. That says nothing. Oh, look, great cannot stop me. keep this basement dry though it's clearly below harbor level okay i've seen nothing in the cells i went this way last time and i need to go follow that path but that goes somewhere else so let's go and take the biggest door 
because this one is leading to me to this quest. Infernal Iron. Red Hammer the Divisor. Are you the dwarf in red? Maybe. It's not Another hostile. Step forward. I want to kill you, huh? Oi! What's this? You ain't supposed to be down here, mate. You spot a curious metal contraption in the water. A submersible. Oh, same quest. I'm the new municipal waterway inspector under Lord Gortash. Where's Will? Will is not close enough to guide me. And if I use Shadowheart's guidance, that's gonna break a group spender. No one tells me anything. Where are you? Why are you still hiding, all of you? I already broke it. And how come Shadowheart was still in range? Let's try this way. Anyway, if you're in charge of the waterways, you've got a lot of work to do. Those humbly servants are making the trip. Bloody salt is always flopping around in the water. I've almost hit one or two now. Might have even nicked one off the port bow the other day. Maybe that'll teach them to keep out of the way. What goes in on in the Iron Throne? You're testing me. O all right. It's an underwater prison, most secure in the realms. Holy shit. Myself and Cap are the only ones who can make it there in one piece. Lord Gortash keeps some Gondians there, collateral to keep those working in the Steelwatch Foundry under control. As it happens, I've been needing a ride to the Iron Throne as part of my inspection. Do you now? Boss never sends anyone that away but prisoners. Don't know what to tell you. He sent me ahead and said your payment would follow. Uh. Ah, easy. Huh. Not like him to surprise me, but... Mad times. I'll take you in. But look, there's some bad shit going down in there. You don't want to get involved. Neither did I, but it was them or me. I'll get Cat warmed up. Get in when you're ready. Yeah, I can always kill him later. Because I don't know if, if we can control this without him. These boots have seen everything. Open up. So that means we can go to that underwater area that we've seen on the world map. Go to camp. Volo, do you have any more money? Because I have uh, quite a lot of heavy stuff on me which I want to unload. Whatever happened? Uh, Jahira, can you trigger his dialogue again? 
or wise. Whatever happens next. God damn it, Wolo. You had one job. It sucks that we don't have a trader in a camp. But we have one. I um I made soup. Want but some? that's not enough. Let's unload the heavy stuff. Give me back my holy water. I'll keep up. All right. Why do I have a feeling that going down there... No, it's okay. I'm just sad that we don't still don't have Minsk. And we still don't have Lazel back to the party. But we can always do other quests in different order i mean in, the, in other campaign yeah that's the one that i want to say sorry i'm a little bit tired and now i'm just looting back all the heavy stuff good job good job uh. all right let's see are you sure you want to take the submersive to the Iron Throne? Yes. Get ready for a shit show. We are saving the Archduke Duke Ravenguard for Will. Pissing off Gortash? Aren't you the intrepid little adventurer, digging and diving where you don't belong? What the hell is this place? The Iron Throne. A ruin from the city's dark past that could become a template for a brighter future. It is a most useful tool for motivating my Gondian workforce. Key to the construction of the steel watch that keep the city safe. But like all tools, the moment it ceases to be useful, I will break it. Thanks to your trespassing, that moment may have come. Return to the docks, or the deaths of everyone inside will be on your conscience. How many people are trapped within? How many lives will be lost? And what of Duke Ravenguard? Will may never forgive you if you abandon his father to this fate. God damn it, really? So do we need to kill Gortash first? Wise. I'll see you soon. Mm-hmm. In that case, I will murder this bitch. Return to Amberly NPCs. Finish the quest. Mess around. Probably end the recording. And in the next episode, I think I'm gonna hunt down Gortash.
Maybe he was lying, but there was no inside check over there. Let's talk. Oh, but now he's inside that thing. Need to find a way forward. I've got a long road ahead. How much further can I go? Okay, so I cannot even do that quest. At them. Seems simple enough. GQ Blue. According to the label, this urn is filled with GQ Lubricant. How many gelatinous cubes would have to be rendered down into slippery salve to fill an urn this size? Well, all right, so we can go this way then. You know what would be nice just for a change? Venturing through a sun dappled vineyard or a gleaming palace. <laughs> Tell me more about it. <laughs> Not so fond of the sewers then. They have their purpose. I would rather we didn't nice. have to wade through their purpose. Oi. Unconscious? He drank potions of sleeps. At the ready. I also know about this part. I was being a good person. What's this, cousin? Another absolutist come to see what we did to poor old Sarin. Your god took her mind, cultist, so Bereki took her head. And I burned the flesh from her bones. And now you come to interrupt the funeral rites. I... Yes, cousin. An excellent idea. Cousin says we will take you in return. He says you look just like kindling for Sarin's funeral pyre. Well, I'm not with the Absolute. Ha! I believe you may believe that. The Absolute takes people, twists them. Sarin Bereki and I, we were the three finest thieves in Baldur's Gate. We broke into the offices Yet of Mortash. Yet you are a dragon, draconic broadline sorcerer? The absolute too. Half -half, maybe? Your fellow cultists hunted us, so we hid down here. We were safe, and so was our loot, until the darkness soured Sarin's mind. She kept our treasure from us, said Bereki and I had gone strange. Hush, cousin. Sarin turned into a cultist herself, so we did what we had to. Bereki wept until his voice was gone. And then he was gone too, leaving only me to conduct Sarin's rites. And my cousins here mm -hmm. cannot conduct the rites without a clan to bear witness or some fuel for the fire. <laughs> you did witnesses. I'm a witness. Just here to pay my respects.
good. That is good. She deserves more than me. Pay your respects as you pass, then. And do not come back. This is Sarin's final resting place. And a killing ground for all who come to disturb her. Stack of bones up there. That naked? Lovely. Is my settings messed up again? No, it's not. Okay. Grease ball. Right. Save against prone. Leather. But we are troublemakers. And keep your lucky little people's peel. We should. We should go to the trainer. Oh, there's a door over here. Whatever it's called, it's impressive. And it tastes great. By the glory of Mother Gif. What? Tell me you've taken the Orphic Hammer. Light on my feet. Ah, you finally come. Have you retrieved the Orphic Hammer? Will our prince's chains finally be broken? Mm, not just yet. Then I will wait here until you have. The chains that bind Orpheus also bind the whole of the Githyanki people. Well, Lazar's kidnapped. The remaining honor guard serve as my eyes and ears. Where's your dragon? The Gith's forces hunt you and the prism. My allies have slayed more than you know, so that you might travel freely. As for those that break through, you've proven more than capable of bleeding them yourself. I cannot mention that laser is gone. What's the name of that river down there? What is this? This one goes to the guild. Cranium rat. We see, we know. Ah, are the gods truly this petty? Tastes great. Interesting. Grease and oil. That's just lovely. Waypoint. Good. Arabella. Bella seems not to notice you as you approach. She's as intent on examining a peculiar stone as she is unbothered by the corpses littered on the ground. Arabella. Hey! 
I had a feeling you'd show up. It's sort of our thing, like it's fate or something. Check out the stone. It's magic. Incredible, right? Cool. Nice. You are flooded with memories of the distant past. Creatures slain, lovers reunited, spells crackling through the air. The stone holds records of all who have passed by it. Arabella is collecting them. It's as natural as breathing for her. You're right. That stone is incredible. I saw past events as if I'd been there myself. And I've only scratched the surface. I want to know everything. Bone Man was right. The weave will take care of me. I just need to listen. Have you been on your own this whole time? Yep, and I like it that way. Bone Man told me to follow the weave, to let it guide me. I've learned a lot thanks to him, and I'm still learning. What about these corpses? Bandits came at me with daggers. They didn't know who they were messing with. I told you, I've learned a lot. Good job. Don't worry about me, I'll be just fine. Okay. I'll see you soon enough. Bone Man said so. That, that, that's it. Hey again. Yet you are still afraid of the stupid skeleton. All right, since we have the portal, we can go and visit. Where's Damon? Oh, we're not going there. I would like to avoid this tavern. Because I'm about to end this episode. We can enter this place next time. Captain Grizzly's hostile. Why? Why'd you have to say that? Why is it hostile anymore? Hmm? I'm ready. Whatever it takes. Yeah, you're supposed to be um mm -hmm. Sister of the Seeing Pearl. Now where did we hear that name before? Yep, Auntie et al. So you are somewhat possessed? Okay, we are, we are not going there. I would like to sell stuff. Oh, look. Another undead. Seems like a good moment to talk. Yes. Um. Arms for the poor. An air of decay hangs over the stooped beggar's form. 
exact same that tainted Mystic Carrion's chambers. This is one of his runaway servants. Anything you can spare for a humble beggar? Cut the act. Tell me where Trumbull is hiding. Trumbull? He's in trouble. Tell me what you remember and I might be able to find him for you. Yes, what an excellent idea. Frumbo had a plan. He was going to find us an abandoned house. Somewhere to hide away from carrion. Abandoned house near water. Abandoned house. Yeah, this is where the car. This was the abandoned house with Marina in it, and it's kind of broken. And there's a water area over here, and we have nothing. Okay, so it must be there. We could find one more of these fools for information. There's no need. Now, where the heck is Damon? A good mason turned up. So I would like to sell some stuff. Who was your favorite in the book? talk about the brilliant future of Baldur's Gate. Interviews, politics, gossip. All of it gets in that bloody Baldur's mouth rag. Except mm. what the people actually want in a broadsheet. Puzzles! I should have teleported here. Alright, this is not that one, but that's alright. Something right. caught your eye then? Careful. Most of my wares can take an eye right out. <laughs> Let's unload this stuff. It's time to earn some cash. I think there's a faster way than doing this. Maybe not. This one's useless. All right, so you're not selling anything good. Trade's booming. What about... Where did you run off? <laughs> Considering an army of cultists is on its way to cut our throats? <laughs> Where did that idiot run off? Oh, god damn it. Have to keep going. Happy now? What is he? I swear this guy teleports every single time. This happened the last time that he was gone. I couldn't find him. I need a quick word. As the superior officer, I think I'll delegate all the sentry shit to Gon Fallon and catch me a nap. All right. You then. Story, story, 
All right. Um, I think it's time to end this episode. And the next time, we shall continue our journey. Now I can look at my quest, but I think I should focus on saving uh, maybe Minsk or Laser. Because doing this quest for Will is not going to work out. So we need to go to the counting house. There. Or we can also go here. The blushing mermaid. Alright. For now. Flower. Thank you guys for watching. And I will see you in the next one. Take care and have a lovely wonderful day or night. Cheers.